Good day to you from ChemHelp ASAP. We are going to discuss sigma bonds between hybridized atoms like carbons and nitrogens and oxygens. So uh, on the left we have a molecule. This is ethane. Ethane, both these carbons are sp3 hybridized and therefore they are connected by a bond, a sigma bond, that is made by the overlapping of sp3 hybrids an sp3 hybrid from the carbon on the left to an sp hybrid um, on the carbon on the right. So let's label these carbons. There's one and two, and let's go to our picture. So for the bonding orbital, we're going to add these two hybrids together. So here we have drawn the sp3 hybrid for carbon one, and we have the sp3 hybrid for carbon two. Note that they're pointing towards each other. As they have a nice region of um, a positive mathematical sign and when we combine these we get something that looks like very many of our sigma bonds something kind of like this where we get constructive overlap of this region in the middle where the two positives overlap and I've admitted the negative tails just because they make the picture messy now this is the wave function for our carbon-carbon bond um, I'm not going to draw the probability function and simply psi squared of that. But if you were to imagine squaring that, the psi squared would look much the same. And where is the electron? It's going to mostly reside between those two atoms. So that's our sigma bonding orbital. Let's look at sigma star. So now we're going to do C1 minus C2. And so there's C1 and C2. And these are both sp3 hybrids but to signify that we're using the negative of the sp3 hybrid on c2 we flip the mathematical sign so this is the negative side this is now neg negative on that particular sp3 orbital and what we get is cancellation in this region in the middle where the pluses and minuses overlap so what will this orbital look like well in the middle we kind of get cancellation so there's going to be a little positive nub there and some negative and we'll have over on C2 a little negative nub and some positive. So this is C1 and C2. And this messy picture is this the psi of psi of the of the sigma star orbital between carbon 1 and carbon 2. And it looks messy and there's a lot of different parts of that orbital, but that is all one single orbital. So don't think, oh, we have multiple orbitals. No, that's one orbital. It just has multiple pieces. Were we to square this, draw the psi squared, we would, um, our trick is to simply make all the negatives positive. And that is roughly what our psi squared would look like. And so we can see, where is the electron density? Well, it is not in the middle because in between we have a node. So this would be an antibonding orbital, therefore it's our sigma star. So drawing our sigma bonds between hybridized atoms is very much like all the other orbitals that we've drawn. We just have to change the shape of the atomic orbitals that we use to make the new molecular orbitals just by a little bit.